Oh. But we're going to have models. Now, um, I'm going to just be honest with y'all. The models were designed to make these easier for students. I think being that this is a pre-AP class, the models probably don't apply to you as much, but you will see models on test. Okay, so I want to spend some time showing you what the models look like. Do you understand? Um, you can solve the models the same way that we've been doing it. I just want you to be aware of some things that you might see. So here is the question that we have. Okay, 2x plus 3 equals 9. So here's what a model might look like. 2x's plus 1, 2, 3 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I agree it's a little confusing. I agree, but bear with me though. Let me show you what it means. We've got the models all situated here. We know we've got to subtract these three to go over there. Agreed? Well, we'll just leave the model like that. I don't even want you to solve the model. I just want you to be aware of the model and we're just going to solve the problem like normal. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to come over here and solve it like normal. 2x plus 3 equals 9. What do I do first in this problem, Rosie? I got 2x plus 3 equals 9. What's my first step? Subtract 3. Yeah, beautiful. Subtract 3. Now I've got 2x equals 6. Nathan, what's my next step? Uh, divide by 2 on both sides. Divide by 2 on both sides. Are we okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this problem again in models. And what we're going to do is as we finish up this lesson, I'm going to show you what the actual test questions might look like so you can see what I'm saying. So now we're going to have negative 4x. What's going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Do we agree that's negative 4x's? Mm -hmm. Minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whoops, I guess I should make it into an actual 5 there. That's going to be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Still good? All right, can y'all solve that one for me? Don't worry about the model. Can you just solve the actual question? I'm going to pull up what they look like on... Alright, what do we get? Negative four. Negative four, do we agree? Mm -hmm. Pretty easy, right? Yep. Here's what I want you to try next. Can you try to draw this model setup for me? It's negative x minus 6 equals 12. 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 This was 12? Yes, sir. Negative x minus 6 equals 12. Yeah, what's up, Josh? Why, why do we have like the four lines and then put the fifth one across? Why did they put it like that? I don't know. Probably just so you didn't have like 100 lines and have to start counting them. It was just to kind of categorize them easier. All right, does anybody want to tell me what this should look like? Read. Negative x. Negative x. Minus uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 across, and then one more equals 5, and then another 5, and then two more. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. All right, can anybody solve that one for me as well? Let me see if somebody else can go read.
Going up. So might as well. Negative x minus 6 equals 12. Rosie, what'd you get? Um, to solve it? Or yeah, to solve it. Yeah. Jackson, what'd you get? Positive or negative? Negative 18. So x is just negative x or just nothing? Divided by itself, so we don't do anything with it? You divide it by negative 1, and that would eliminate this one over here. But yes, to answer your question, that would work out the same way. Cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you these next couple questions now that we. I feel like you understand this pretty well. I'm going to show you this next part. All right, so I just want to show you a couple of these questions so that you understand where I'm trying to tie this all to. Because these are a couple of like release star questions that we have. Okay, so. This is a model. Notice that it gives you the equation already. 2 minus 3x equals 8. Well, here's your 2, plus 1, plus 1. Are we okay with that? Minus 3x, minus 1x, minus 2x, minus 3x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Are we okay with how they set that equation up? So you notice how you don't even need the model. It's just there to kind of assist you. Okay, how about this one? Can anybody set up this equation for me? I'm giving you the model here. Can any of you set up this equation? <gasps> Give me a second to look at it first. Take a look at it for a second. You've got your key over here. This means x, this means 1. Josh, what do you think this side over here is? 5x? No. Mariah, what do you think? How many x's do we see over here? Two. We're gonna have two x. How many ones do we have? Five. Plus five equals. How many do I have over there? Eleven. You say you set that one up. Could you solve that equation? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna show you a few more. And then move on to our homework. Okay, what about this equation? Do you think you can set this one up? Yeah. Alright, somebody tell me what do you think it is? Let me give it a second read, then you can tell me. Like what? To set it up? Yep, just, I don't want the answer yet. I just want you to set up the equation. Alright, read, go for it. 5x plus 6 equals 1. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. 5x plus 6 equals 1. All right, not too bad, right? Let's go to our homework. I want to talk about a few on there. Now, I want to go through this before I just cut you loose. I want to make sure you feel confident answering each question. We're only doing the odds. I want to say that again. We're only doing the odds. We're only doing the odds, okay? Only the odds. Okay, so this, I need your attention for about another two minutes. Can we solve this problem? Yes. 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 Do you think you can solve seven? No. no. Let's look at seven together. Let's look at seven. So go ahead and write this stuff down because this is one of your questions, but I want to make sure that we feel good about it. There might be another one on here that I want to do with you as well. All right, look at number nine. Can we do number nine? Yes. Can you yes. do 11? Yes. 
Yes. Can you do 13? Uh, yes. Can you do 15? Yes. 17 looks like 7, so we're going to talk about that one. What about 19? We'll talk about 19. 21? Yes. 24? Yes. All right, so we want to look at 7, 17, and 19. 7, 17, and 19 are the ones I'm about to do with you right now. Seven, seventeen, and nineteen. Okay, we obviously have v plus nine on the top here, which means that I want to get rid of that. Does anybody know how I can get rid of dividing by three? How do I get rid of division by three? Multiplying by three. Multiply by three. Watch this. If I multiply both sides by three, what happens to these threes? Cancel out. They cancel out. Can we all agree with that? Mm -hmm. So this cancels out this 3, leaving me with b plus 9 over there. Are we okay with that? But if I multiply the left side by 3, what do I have to multiply the right side by? 3, giving me 24. Are we okay with that? Now how do I solve this problem next? What do I need to do? Isaac, what do I do? And that's going to give me 15. Yeah. Are we good with that? All I had to do was multiply by my denominator first. Then it gave me v plus 9. And then I got it from there. Let me to walk through that steps again. Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Drop one down. What did I say? 17 and 19 as well? 17 and 23. 23 looks good. 17 and 19. Alright, so 17 looks very similar to the one that we just did. I want you to go ahead and try 17. Just try it. I'm not going to give up on you. Just try it and then I'll do it with you. But let's compare them. You try 17. You try 17 first. Yep. No, that's good. What am I going to multiply by first? I by the denominator, negative 16. And so when I multiply by negative 16, this and this cancel out. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Leaving me with n plus 5. What do I have to multiply that negative 1 by, Nathan? Uh, the negative 1? Yeah, this one. Multiply by negative 1. Good, by negative 16, which equals a positive 16. We're all okay with that? Mm -hmm. All right, Ruger, what's my last step? Minus 5. Minus 5. So n equals uh, 11. Mm -hmm. Are we good with that? Yeah. All right, cool. You guys remember seeing parentheses in problems? Yeah, it means you do that one first. Mm -hmm. Got to do that first. Can I do k minus 9? No. You guys remember last we were talking about the distributive property? A little bit vaguely. All right, here's all it means. I'm going to take this 10, multiply it by k. What do you guys think 10 times k is? 10k. Then you got to multiply 10 times a negative 9. What do you think 10 times a negative 9 is? Negative 90 k. Okay. There you go. We'll cover this more in depth. This is the first step. Distributive property. We agree I can't do k minus 9. But I have this 10 on the outside so I can multiply everything on the inside by that 10. And then I get rid of my parentheses. Okay? Um, what do I do next in this problem? Mm -hmm. Isaac? Subtract 10 and 90 by 10. Mm. Almost. Think about it backwards. I want to get k by itself, right? So I want to add 90 to both sides. You were, you were right there, though. Then I get 80 is equal to 10K. And what's my final step here, Addison? Uh, you're going to subtract 10 for both. No, not subtract. Uh, divide 10 for both. Divide, good. 8 equals K. 